Welcome to Smashing UK's Top 10 Western Films. Number 10, The Wild Bunch. We shot our way out of that town for a dollar's worth of steel holes. They set it up. They? Who in the hell is they? This 1969 epic western from Sam Peckinpah ruthlessly takes apart the myths of the West with two of the bloodiest battles in screen history. The Wild Bunch galvanises the clichés of its dying genre with a shocking jolt of delirious carnage and all-star cast including William Holden, Ernest Borgnine and Robert Ryan. Number 9. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance This time, right between the eyes. A senator who became famous for killing a notorious outlaw returns for the funeral of an old friend and tells the truth about his deed in this action-packed western. John Wayne and John Ford together created much of the mythology of the West we carry in our minds. The man who shot Liberty Valance is one of the most engaging and thoughtful. Pilgrim! I hate tricks, Pilgrim, but that's what you're up against with Valance. He's almost as fast as I am. Number eight, The Magnificent Seven. New wall. There are lots of new walls all around. They won't keep me out. Well, Bill, to keep you in. The Magnificent Seven is the dramatic adaptation of Akira Kurosawa's The Seven Samurai, where an oppressed Mexican village assembles seven gunfighters to help defend their homes against bandits. One of the most iconic westerns ever made, The Magnificent Seven holds up as a rousing adventure and as a fascinating turning point in the history of movies about the Old West. You came back. For a place like this. Why? A man like you. Why? Number seven, Rio Bravo. That's where I long to be. Set in Texas during the late 1860s, Rio Bravo is the story of a small town sheriff who enlists the help of a cripple, a drunk, and a young gunfighter in his efforts to hold in jail the brother of the local bad guy. A definitive piece of Americana by the way of Howard Hawks, Rio Bravo and John Wayne were what the late 1950s film industry were all about. Look out! Number six, Unforgiven. Eight for me in one field. As both director and star, Clint Eastwood strips away decades of Hollywood varnish applied to the Wild West and emerges with a series of harshly eloquent statements about the nature of violence. This dark film is a reminder of what cinema is capable of in the way of expressing a mature, morally complex and challenging view of the world. God is wet. You see, Mr. Beauchamp? This is the kind of trash I can get off. Number five, Django Unchained. You didn't mention kneecap. Oh, God! Mother! Seventy-six years, Stephen. Tarantino's 2012 western tells the story of a freed slave who sets out to rescue his wife from Calvin Candy, a brutal Mississippi plantation owner, with the help of a German bounty hunter played by Christoph Waltz in his Oscar-winning role. A bold, bloody and stylistically daring masterpiece from Quentin Tarantino.
number four, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Well, that ought to do it. George Roy Hill directs Paul Newman and Robert Redford in this four-time Oscar-winning western telling the adventure of two bank robbers who flee to Bolivia to evade the law. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is an iconic classic adventure tale and a singular slice of the late 60s movie making that has never really been repeated. I'll jump first. No. Then you jump first. No, I said. What's the matter with you? I can't swim! <laughs> Why are you crazy? The fall will probably kill you. Number three, Once Upon a Time in the West. Sergio Leone returns to the spaghetti western genre with this epic story of a mysterious stranger with a harmonica who joins forces with a notorious desperado to protect a widow from a ruthless assassin. Once Upon a Time in the West is a landmark Leone spaghetti western masterpiece featuring a classic Ennio Morricone score. Number two, The Searchers. I found him! I found Lucy! What you saw was a buck wearing Lucy's dress. I found Lucy back in the canyon. What was she? What do you want me to do, draw your picture? Spell it out! The Searchers reunited director-actor duo of John Ford and John Wayne in the mature and dark piece that helped pave the way for modern westerns. Wayne stars as a Civil War veteran who embarks on a journey to rescue his niece after she is kidnapped during a Comanche raid. One of Ford's undisputed masterpieces and a quintessential text of the 1950s. Right away. Right away. Number one, the good, the bad and the ugly. The third and final film of Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy is arguably the greatest of the western genre. This epic features a compelling story, memorable performances, breathtaking landscapes and a haunting score from Ennio Morricone. Leone endows the good, the bad and the ugly with a clever visual style making it the definitive spaghetti western. Thank you for watching. Any Westerns that we forgot? Leave your opinions in the comments below.